anti-cancer chemotherapy. In the last video, we discussed the introduction. In this video, we will discuss the pharmacology. And this video is further specific for the one group of the anti-cancer chemotherapy that is alkylating agents. Alkylating agents. So first of all, the very clue that I'm going to tell you people is that look at the words alkylating agents. Alkylating itself indicates that it is doing alkylation. What is alkylation? Alkylation is actually the addition of alkyl group. This is the symbol of alkyl that is R and when you add a slight dash in front of this, then then it is now is alkyl, which is a radical. You might have some knowledge about chemistry. If you don't have, then just <laughs> watch my video. Alkylation is the addition of alkyl group to some other moieties, some other particles. So that is called alkylation. So what alkylating agents are doing? Alkylating agents are actually adding the alkyl group to some other things, to some other moieties, to some other groups, or to some other substances. So, regarding the anti-cancer, what alkylating agents are doing? Alkylating agents will add the alkyl group to the nitrogen 7 of the guanine. You know about guanine? And one of the nitrogen is bacillus. And then guanine, cytosynthiamine, and uracil. So, it is one of them that is guanine. And uh, it is also adding the alkyl group to the oxygens of the purines and pyramide. It also add the, adds the alkyl group to the other moieties like carboxyl, imidazole, amino and sulfohydrin, etc. So after adding, what will happen? Alkylating agents, if they add the alkyl group to these moieties, or to guanine, to the purines and pyramides, or to the carboxyl, imidazole, amino, what happens then? Then you know that if something is transformed, before we were having the adenine that was going to combine with thiamine, going with the cytosine. So now what will happen? You transformed the structure of the guanine by adding the alkyl group to the guanine. Now this guanine is no more able to bind with the cytosine. And what will happen? Abnormal base pairing will take place. Then before it was combining with adenine with thiamine, now adenine with thiamine is no longer available. It might be like that. Adenine will combine with the guanine and guanine will combine with the cytosine or somehow like that. So abnormal base pairing will take place. If abnormal base pairing takes place, you know that, then there will be no formation of the DNA. So what is our main target regarding the anti-cancer? We are supposed to block the cell division or stop the cell division because you know cancer is abnormal or excessive cell division, cellular growth. So we are going to stop its growth. Now we stopped the cell division. So after receiving the alkyl group, what will happen? There will be no any further base pairing. That was the exit base pairing or the rail base pairing. So if there is no rail base pairing, so what will happen? The DNA that is supposed to form will be not formed. So the cell growth is stopped in a sense. So we are supposed actually to stop the cell growth. So the nerve uh, will come towards the site of action. What is the site of action? So its site of action is G1 S phase. It's the very site of action of alkylating agents. In the next video, we will study about the resistance and the cell cycle specific and cell cycle non-specific drugs. Till then, stay blessed and just have a little short review of the topic. Anti-cancer chemotherapy. Uh, in the last video, we studied the, we studied the introduction. And now we will study the pharmacology, uh, that is the very first one group under discussion is alkylating agents. Alkylating agents are what actually they are, they are those agents which will add alkyl group to the nitrogen 7 of the guanine, to the oxygens of the purines and pyramides, and to some whiteys, carboxyl, imidazole, amino, and sulfohydrin, etc. Means they are adding the alkylation to alkyl group to all these. That's why it is called as alkylating agents. And what is the site of their, their affection? Just to act on the S phase where the DNA is formed. And uh, in, a, in a sense that uh, if we go for the most accurate definition of alkylating agents, they act on all phases, but it is more susceptible to the G1 and S phase. Late G1, not early, late G1 and S phase of the cell division. So like that, there will be a control on cell division. So it is the very first one I've had images. Hope so you got and uh, please do not forget subscribing to our channel.
and sharing this video with your friends and fellows. Thanks for your precious attention, support.